Hey everyone, my name is Albert and I'm one of the engineers here at Paragon. I'm excited to show you just how easy it is to build a native integration into your product using Paragon. Let's start with the integration experience you'll provide to your customers. This is the integrations page of a sample app that we'll use to represent your application. When a user clicks on an integration, for this example, we'll use Salesforce, you'll trigger the Paragon Connect portal where your customers will authenticate into and configure the integrations you've built. Paragon securely handles authentication for every one of your user's integrations. It manages the various token refresh policies for each app so you don't have to. If you want to use your own custom UI, we also support a headless implementation, but we won't get into that in this video. And in a single click, they can turn on the integration features that you've predefined for them. So that's the end user experience in a nutshell. Now that we've gone over the end user experience, let's get into how you and your team will define these workflows within Paragon. So this is the Paragon dashboard, and from here, you can pick from over 100 integrations that we support out of the box. Or you can even build your own custom integration. Let's continue with Salesforce. Here you can see the workflows that were surfaced to the end users through the Connect portal. Let's go into a simple Create New Contact Salesforce workflow. When a user creates a new contact from your application, this workflow will create the new contact on your customer's Salesforce environment as well. Every workflow starts with a trigger, and for this workflow, we'll use an app event trigger. With the Paragon SDK installed in your app, you can use app events to kick off workflows with any data that you want. You can also specify a schema on how that data should look like. You can set up workflows to also be triggered when data changes on your customer's integration environment, such as if a new contact was added to your customer's Salesforce account. Next, we'll use an integration action step for Salesforce to see if this contact already exists. You can use variable interpolation to reference data from any previous steps. I can also test each step and see a preview of the result as shown here. If the contact exists, we'll just update the existing contact, but otherwise we'll create a new one with another Salesforce action step. Overall, Paragon's pre-built integration actions make it easy for you to work with and perform common tasks on third-party services without having to deal with the complexities of maintaining references to each integration's API. And that's all we had to do to set up this simple create new contact workflow. If you need more advanced integration features, Paragon has all the necessary tools to help you build them. This includes the ability to make proxy requests to any endpoint, conditional statements, loops, and even custom functions. Also, Paragon provides built-in resiliency features such as auto retries, so you won't have to worry about error handling. Now let me show you just how easy it is to test integration logic. Not only can it perform unit tests at each step, but I can test the entire workflow as well. This takes us to the final component of Paragon that I'll cover in this video, monitoring and observability. This is the task history panel where you have full visibility into every execution for your integrations workflows. The visual representation of executions makes it easy to debug and diagnose issues. And now, going to the connected users dashboard, this is where your support team can fix your customer's integration issues without your engineering team needing to intervene. There's a lot more I'd love to show you, but that's it for today's product overview video. If you ever need help, feel free to reach out to us over intercom or email. We're always here to support you as you build out your products, native integrations.